I'm not a morning person, okay? Hey friends, my name is Amy Rebecca. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where we discuss all things personal development, intentional living, and dream chasing. Have you noticed that waking up at the crack of dawn seems to be like the in thing to do right now? Like look it up on YouTube. It's full of 6 a.m. morning routines, 5 a.m. morning routines, 4 a.m. morning routines. Is 4 a.m. even the morning? I'm pretty sure that's still the middle of the night. And look, I know that waking up super early is part of the whole that girl trend, but let me just say, that girl might wanna wake up at 5 a.m. to go to the gym, but this girl does not. Personally, I don't subscribe to the idea that waking up early makes you more productive or admirable or somehow a better person that we should put up on a pedestal because we're all different and some people just function better later on in the day. And if you're one of those people, same. And that is absolutely okay. But for the next week, I am going to hurl myself into my worst nightmare and force myself to wake up at 5 a.m. every morning. Why? Well, I currently already wake up at 5.45, so I can leave the house at 6.20 and get to work by 7. And yes, I freaking hate it. But since I started my new job and I have to leave really early in the morning, my old morning routine has just been thrown to the wayside. And I used to really enjoy that morning routine. I used to do a little bit of yoga, write my gratitude list, read, drink my coffee, give myself time to actually come to and feel like a human before I started my day. And I miss that. So now I'm wondering, would I benefit from waking up 45 minutes earlier every morning to do some of those things that I used to really enjoy? Or will it just kill me? I don't know. I'm already regretting this decision. It's gonna be horrible. <sighs> Let's see if it's worth it. I already ate this. I still rushing to get out of the door. I was in such a deep sleep when my alarm clock went off and then it took me about seven or eight minutes to actually peel myself out of bed, but I did it. It actually wasn't as terrible as I was expecting, but I found that every single thing I did this morning took forever because I wasn't in my regular routine. Usually first thing in the morning, I'm acting on autopilot and this morning I had to actually stop and think about what I was doing and my brain wasn't really fired up enough for that. So now I'm actually running a couple of minutes late even though I got up 45 minutes earlier. And yet here I am talking to you guys. I'm totally over it right now. Usually it takes me 35 minutes to get ready in the morning from the moment my alarm goes off to me leaving the front door. This morning I got up at 5 a.m. It is currently 5.25 and all I've achieved is tying my hair back, brushing my teeth and doing my skincare. I must be just moving so slowly, which makes sense because I'm so tired. <laughs> actually felt a lot better. It was a lot easier to get up when my alarm went. I wasn't like 
kissing the day or anything. As I was putting my makeup on this morning, I took some time to like out loud do a prayer and a reflection, which is something that I haven't done in a really long time. And I feel like it set me up for the day so well because I kind of went through all of the things that have been bothering me, all of my fears, all of my concerns, and then how I'm moving forward. And just saying all that out loud and like getting it out into the universe, I just, I feel so much better. But I am also running late again. This is the worst thing I've ever done. When my alarm went off this morning, I was so tired. I wanted to burst into tears, but I just didn't have the energy to cry. I did my yoga this morning. I didn't do journaling. I didn't give myself a pep talk. I just tried to stay awake. Almost fell asleep in mountain pose. And mountain pose is on your feet. I could probably curl up right here on the sofa and sleep for like eight hours. Maybe even if I wasn't doing this challenge, I still would have been really tired today anyway. It's been a pretty busy week, but I have to think that waking up at 5 a.m. every day hasn't helped. Well, I made it to Friday. I actually haven't done any of like my morning routine things this morning. Didn't do yoga, didn't do my gratitude list. Didn't even eat breakfast. Last night I went out for dinner right after I came home from work. I was in a really big rush. And so I left a huge mess, just like makeup everywhere, all of my shoes all over the floor, just like a disaster. So I spent the morning like putting everything away, cleaning up. And weirdly, as much as I do hate to clean, that felt so much better for me this morning. Like I feel a lot calmer, I feel a lot more energized, I just feel mellow. I listened to a true crime podcast as I was doing it because what says happy Friday more than kidnapping and murder? So yeah, absolutely no semblance of a routine this morning, but I was productive. And I'm actually on time. Oh, what a day. I cannot express to you how amazing it felt to not wake up at 5 a.m. this morning. So, was it worth it? There were definitely some pros and some cons. So some of the pros include that I usually don't have time to squeeze things like yoga or journaling into my daily routine. So being able to make that extra time in the morning to do those things was great. Also doing exercise in the morning, even if it is just a very gentle 10 minute yoga video, it's gotta be good for me. And I actually had time to put on makeup in the mornings, so I looked more presentable going out into the world, which in turn made me feel a little bit more put together and like ready for the day. The cons on the other hand were that I couldn't really enjoy the things that I was doing. I used to really enjoy my morning routine. It used to feel really nice, like an act of self care. But this time, I just couldn't enjoy those activities because I was so tired. Also, I still found myself rushing out the door every morning because even though I had extra time, I was moving more slowly, I was doing more things, and so my mornings were still actually quite stressful and rushed. And the biggest con of all was that I was so freaking exhausted. By the time Thursday rolled around, I was like a zombie. I actually had to take a nap in the office at work on lunchtime on Thursday because I was, <laughs> I was not a human anymore. And of course, I think if I would have adjusted my bedtime and brought that forward so that the amount of sleep I was getting every night was the same, then I wouldn't have experienced that extreme tiredness. But if I had done that, I wouldn't have had time to work out in the evenings. And that wasn't something I was willing to compromise on. So I ended up losing 45 minutes of sleep every night and that caught up with me very quickly. So for me right now, waking up at 5 a.m. definitely is not worth it. And I think this is a really great example of how there is no one size fits all for like good habits or living your best life. 
because if I'm falling asleep at my desk at work, I 100% am not living my best life and I'm not being particularly healthy. Just because waking up at 5 a.m. works for other people and makes them feel good doesn't mean that the rest of us have to do it if it doesn't work for us. And this is why I always recommend that when people are setting new goals or they wanna introduce new habits into their routine, that they actually ask themselves why. Like, are they doing it because it's gonna benefit them or it's gonna make them feel good? Or are they just doing it because they feel like everyone else is doing it? If that's the case, just don't bother because we're all different and what works for someone else is not necessarily gonna work for you. So I am very excited to not wake up at 5 a.m. next week. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please go ahead and give it a thumbs up to let me know. Subscribe if you haven't already. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Remember that you are enough just as you are, and I will see you next time. Bye.